Hello everyone, welcome back to Close to Be Milkshake. I am your host, along with the coolest fuck fiver. Yes! Whoosh. On planet, Mr. Chicken. Yeah! Today we are going to talk about when your uh, narcissistic partner um, says things like he or she is just my friend. Okay? Um, and that you have nothing to worry about. That's usually, you know, what follows. Um, this is a very difficult topic because um, I do not know how to fucking help you out of this. This is something that um, your partner could have fucking, you know, this is shelving people. Now, they might not give a flying fuck about them um, sexually, emotionally, but if they are so fucking bored, they will run to them for emotional support. You should not be running to the opposite sex for emotional support. This is coming in between both of you and your relationship. This is a third fucking party, okay? If you bring this up to your partner, your partner is going to explain it away, tell you that you are paranoid, you are jealous, and make you look like you are the fucking crazy person to look the other way with their relationship. The only thing that I could tell you is if you ask them, let me see your fucking uh, correspondence then. If anything that you write, is that okay? for me to read? Are you fucking flirting? Are you fuck? Don't tell me that flirting is fucking okay. No, it's not. You want me to go do it? I'm gonna fucking go do it. And I want you to see if you like somebody fucking with your stuff, huh? Is that what you want? See, I get extremely um, defensive. Um, somebody else who has a more softer demeanor and you don't want to anger your partner or want your partner to um, silent treatment you, you know, the blame shift, the leave, the punishment, something, you know, I get it. You would be um, too afraid to voice your opinion. Not me, no. I will fucking say something and um, I'm gonna fucking punish you. I'm gonna fucking punish you if um, you are going to um, keep doing what you're doing. Now, this is what, you know, narcissistic people will do. They, are, they will fucking show you, motherfucker, and teach you a lesson so you'll never do the thing again. You guys won't do that. So I don't know what you should do except for, you know, um, let me see your shit. If everything is so fucking okay, then I can see your stuff, right? Um, another thing that I um, am against is why lock up your phone if you're not doing shady shit? I, what's this privacy stuff, you know? If you're in a relationship with a partner, why can't you you know, text in my face. Why can't I do that? Huh? Why can't you have my passwords? Why not? I'm not doing nothing. You know, what's, what's this privacy thing? Now, if it's um, like you, were have, you have conversations with like um, your sister or something, because this was something with me too, is that I did not want my um, husband, she was my only confidant. So I did not want my husband reading my fucking text messages from my sister. Now, I could just erase them every time, but then, you know, wouldn't you think that there was shady shit going on? So I guess that there would have to be some sort of compromise where, you know, I don't want you reading my sister's fucking messages to me because we're talking about her fucking personal shit and I'm talking about my personal shit, um, you know, that's deep down in my, you know, your sister's your fucking therapist, basically. So, um, you know, you, you just have to, you know, be okay with me erasing stuff to my sister. 
I mean, there's ways to go and check up and see who you are texting the most. I fucking um, did it on my own fucking phone. You do some go to setup, general fucking um, messen messages, recent messages, and then you see all the um, recent messages. So if you needed to check up on your partner like that, then fucking go do that. But I have no real help for somebody who is going to say this, except for if they're going to become defensive, red fucking flag motherfucker, and you need to, um, you know, be like, well, fucking later, later. It's, you know, you're going to fucking bring a third party into our relationship. You can have two with them. You know, um, it's very hard for um, me when I was unaware to really understand this because um, I did not understand what shelving was. They were just, you know, all my um, side people for when I was bored, you know, and, and I did not think of it as, um, you know, um, doing anything shady. They were because I didn't give a fuck about them, you know, but. The more that I learned about my partner's pain, and I'm not talking about my ex-husband, I don't give a fuck about how he felt. When I learned about my crazy ex's pain, because that motherfucker punishes shit out of me for not complying. So when I, when, you know, he would do the same thing that I was doing, just normal, I saw that my normal was not okay. So. The only thing that I can say is bring your shit to the toxic side and start bringing other fucking opposite sex into, you know, the circle and be toxic too. Show motherfucker how it feels. But, you know, we always throw in double standard stuff too. So there is no win. If anybody is out there who actually was able to come to some sort of, you know, good compromise or a way that you got your toxic partner to agree with you, um, you know, that this stuff is shady shit, like watching um, a fucking therapist on TikTok. Therapists on TikTok are saying what I'm saying, man. You do not bring a third party into your relationship. You don't, unless it's a motherfucking therapist or me or me or when you call me okay anyways so i hope that was helpful you have a great day namaste